Hello, my name is Rimantas. I'm yoga teacher. Today we're going to talk about meditation. What is meditation? How does it work? What are meditation techniques? And what are recommendations to start meditation practice? So what is meditation? Meditation, it is ancient practice that help us to understand who we really are. In yogic tradition, there are two words that describe meditation. Dharana, it means concentration, when we focus our attention, for example, to breathing, to mantra, or to object. And another word is dhyana. Dhyana means meditation. It means those two words are connected. When we do concentration, when we focus our attention, for example, to breathing, after some time there comes state that we call meditation. So meditation, it is practice that help us to remove chaos in our mind. Meditation, it is technique that help us to control our mind, control our emotions, and of course, it helps us to understand who am I. There are a lot of reasons why it is very good to do meditation. Our mind has a lot of attachments, a lot of desires, a lot of wishes, a lot of doubts, a lot of fears. Um, our mind jealous. It also always plans something. It always think about past and those because of those reasons our mind is always active 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 runs 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 and never stops so there are two examples for example active mind active mind always runs 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 never stops and another example calm mind it means person are very centered very stable and he fully understand what happens around when we talk with person who are who has very active mind he always runs he wants that he wants he wants to go there wants to go there wants to check that wants to see that always he's running and when people when person are stable and centered he's very warm from inside very understanding what what happens inside him and around how does it work in real life for example if person do not meditate then Every thought that comes to his mind, he is trying to realize that. For example, comes angry thought and person straight goes with his angriness on his family. Another example, came thought that you need to buy something without even thinking person are trying to realize this thought. Now another example. When we do meditation, we just sit in meditation and we, for example, focus our attention to breathing. Our task is just to observe our breathing. In meditation, for example, comes thought for example, angry thought. Because you are sitting in meditation, 
you are not able to do that to realize that thought because your task is to observe your breathing and those thoughts that comes after some time they just disappear from your mind and you still sitting in meditation there comes another thoughts and when you're just sitting and observing for example your breathing you notice that all those thoughts they come and they go away come and go away come and go away because all those thoughts are not our thoughts all those emotions that comes in our life it's not our emotions it's very interesting thing so meditation basically help to keep our inner world very very stable and it helps to understand what happens inside us and what happens around main goal of meditation is to fully stop our thinking process to fully stop our thoughts fully stop emotions fully stop everything that comes to our mind because only after that we can go deeper into ourselves now what are meditation techniques in yogic tradition and not only in yogic tradition there is a lot of techniques of meditation and now i will give you just a few examples for example there are meditation techniques like pranayamas like breathing techniques when we focus our attention to breathing there are meditation techniques like chanting mantra for example chanting mantra om very great technique their technique of meditation when we need to focus our attention to some external object or for example saint person or for example deity also there is meditation techniques that we need to focus on in our inner world in our inner we need to create like um, we need to imagine some kind of object or some kind of saint person or some kind of deity also in yogic tradition there is one more meditation technique that we're calling Trataka. Trataka it is meditation technique when we put candle in in length of our hand in front of us and we just watch the light we just watch for some time the light after that we close our eyes and we're trying to see that light inside of us after some time we one more time open our eyes watch that light and after that again we are trying to imagine it how to start meditate we need to find place where we can be alone we need to cross our legs there is different ways how to do that one of the ways how yogis do it padmasana full lotus more simple ways are like that for example half lotus for example just crossed legs like that Or there is one more posture 
in which we can meditate. All we need to keep is straight spine, sp straight back. So when we do meditation, we usually sit in position with crossed legs and with straight spine, st straight back. Then we need to know meditation technique. For example, the easiest way is to start observing our breath. How we do it? We sit in position with crossed legs and for some time we relax our body. For example, we close our, our eyes, our back straight and we relax. We relax our legs, we relax our belly, we relax our chest, relax hands, Relax face, and just keep breathing. In meditation, we always breathe through nose. Our breathing is natural. Now focus your attention to inhale and exhale. Just understand how you breathe in and breathe out. Don't control your breathing, but just observe how you do. Inhale and exhale. After some time, probably you will see that there comes different thoughts, different ideas maybe different wishes. Don't attract to them and just observe breathing. Just observe how you breathe in and breathe out. If you start thinking, thinking about something, planning about something, or you understood that you are not observing and you're already thinking something, so when you realize that you're thinking, just return back to observing your breath. Don't fight with your thoughts, just do not give them your attention. Just keep your focus on breathing and be fully relaxed. And after some time, you, when you are finishing, you are just Open your eyes and finish your meditation. So actually, it is as simple as that. You can try to do it every day. It will be very positive because all the time when you sit 
with crossed legs and straight back and close your eyes and start observing your breath it gives you very great center it gives you position of observer and when you're observing you can see those ideas those thoughts that comes to your mind and after some time you will see that less and less and less thoughts and ideas comes to you so it is very nice inner feeling when there is no thoughts when you're fully relaxed from inside and this inner feeling feeling it is very very you know very light very pleasant very blissful yes so basically that's all there is a lot of saints there is a lot of real gurus teachers who are saying about inner peace about inner calmness so what does that mean they talking about calm and peacefully inner state of mind because when we are in inner peace our mind is very very relaxed centered and we can focus our mind to the place where we want to do that when our mind is very very active when there are chaos in our mind then person are not able to concentrate his mind on certain things and that is the reason why those same people they are saying a lot of a lot of good words about this inner peace and about this inner state of calm mind just try it for yourself and i think that it will be very very helpful if you'll try at least one time to do this meditation personally if you will have questions related related to meditation feel free to write them in comment section below thank you for watching please let me know in comments did you like that and see you on the next video goodbye